what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest project Elixir ROM based on Android 13 and this is the version 3.10 for the Redmi Note 10 Pro and this ROM is also available for the Redmi K20 Pro so you can look for the features and stuff if you want to see the ROM's features and of course project Elixir has been one of the most stable experiences and this time it's no different now if you don't know how to flash this ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro you can find the flashing guide in the description by the way the build date here is of 3rd August 2023 so the latest one as of right now in terms of the Android version section this is how it looks like we have the project Elixir logo up top shows the wallpaper that you're using and the maintainer is Krishna so huge thanks to the developers of this from and we have the android version as 13 here if you keep tapping on it and make the clock to one o'clock you will see the easter egg of android 13 and here also you will find all the other easter eggs looks very beautiful let me go back we have the security patch as july 5th 2023 not quite august yet here you will notice and we have the elixir version as 3.10 the stock kernel here is the 4.14 phantom kernel and we have the eastern status shows as enforcing and we have the device name right here which is sweet and the build date here is of 4th august again in terms of the system settings it does have a elixir updater on the bottom and this is how the updater looks like if you have flashed elixir rom earlier you will be familiar with this kind of updater let me go back the thermal profiles you do get and you are getting all the options like the benchmark browser camera dialer gaming streaming etc options are still present and i have also enabled the benchmark for the benchmarking apps and here let me show you we have the gestures the swipe break screenshot and stuff is still there and we can take a screenshot just like this there is the share edit and delete option also the capture more feature will appear when it's needed and we have the quick loop and camera and stuff then we have the system navigation gestures in the settings of it we have the pill length customization and the dead zone kind of customization and the left edge right edge customization also the swipe to invoke assistant is actually working fine no issues we have the full screen gestures the back gesture haptic and the back gesture animation but there is no thickness customization and the pill bar as you can see it's not too long i would say let me go back we have the two button and three button navigation right here and if you go into it we have the hold for assistant for that as well we have the double tap and the adaptive playback playback control press and hold power button action and stuff is still there and 100 mode works fine no issues also you can change this to power menu and digital assistant for the power menu and the press and hold action you can actually change i'll just select that to power menu now let me just go into the home screen and this is how it looks like for me because i have customized it this way to the left of the home screen we still have the google's discover page and stuff and swiping up will get you to the app drawer it is a really really smooth experience i would say swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel which looks like this by the way if you are wondering about the widgets yes i have added this subscriber account widget that is working fine and please subscribe if you have not yet guys let me go to the next page here as you can see the google clock widget and the battery widget both are working fine right now i'm connected to this bluetooth device and you can see the bluetooth battery up top in the status bar and here tapping on a widget is actually working fine as you can see the animations and stuff is working perfectly fine no problems whatsoever and in case you are wondering about the stock apps of this rom these are the stock apps that you will get of course the fresh walls and the pixart app is there because i was restoring my google app data backup but other than that these are the stock apps of this rom you do get the google dialer and stuff by default no issues the call recording option will work with it in the home screen settings let me show you this is a pixel launcher that you will get so there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen over here but there is a session disabling option and stuff normal pixel launcher customization but yes no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen but of course double tap to sleep is there on the status bar that works fine no problems and the fingerprint scanner right now is working fine i'll show you in detail the locking and unlocking stuff but right now let me show you the quick setting panel this is how it looks like an edit and add multiple toggles from right here plethora of toggles are here and let me show you i have the wi-fi mobile data the bluetooth toggle flashlight auto rotate night light hotspot and stuff and the device controls let me go to the next one we have the battery saver and in terms of screen recording we have the enable hevc option and in the toggles you will notice this is how it looks out of the box looks pretty beautiful i would say we have the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time and all the other features for the screen recording then the data saver dark theme extra dim the always on display you can turn it on or off and even for charge the heads up do not disturb and the nearby share lp mode and the 100 mode is there so you can add even more toggles if you want let's talk about the basic things first yes the safety net does pass right out of the box so banking apps will not be an issue on this rom in terms of drm info it does have the l1 certifications i hope you can see that light IR Blaster actually works perfectly no problems with it 
And in terms of Google Photos, it does have unlimited Google Photos backup for the photos and videos, of course. So this feature is really cool to have right out of the box. Now let's talk about the camera. Well, you are getting the MIUI or the Leica camera, you can say, right out of the box on this ROM. And that is just awesome. Now here, we have the ultra wide angle lens that is working fine. 1x, 2x, all the options are working. Even the front camera, let me show you. Yep, the front camera is working perfectly fine. No problems with it. And I'm shooting this video on the Poco F5, by the way. And let me show you in the portrait mode as well. It is working. There is the 64 megapixel mode and stuff. If you swipe up, there are multiple different modes like the vlog mode, vlog pro, slow motion, time lapse, sticker avatars, movie effects, AI, watermark, and the long exposure, super moon, dual video, pocket mirror, and the clone scanner. All these options are here. In the video settings, let me show you with the rear camera, there is up to 4K 60fps. It will show that, but it doesn't work. So up to only 4K 30fps, I think will work. So that's how it is. As you can see the 4K 30fps option, it's like moving the camera and stuff. It's, it should work fine. But one problem that I have noticed here with the rear camera, let me show you. 1080p 30fps right now is working. Now if I switch to 1080p 60fps, just notice the screen will actually flicker. Just look at that. I don't know why it's happening. So yeah, with 60fps, it has some kind of issues. It's just not working properly. As you can see, it's flickering the screen it's stuck with the camera and stuff. So that is how it is. Don't try to like enable this 1080p 60fps, I would say. So that's how it is. Other than that, let me show you the front camera video settings. Now this is insane because I have actually tested it here. 1080p 60fps option is there. This option you will not get even in MIUI. This is huge. So in my opinion, this is one of the best like for actually taking videos or vlogging and stuff. 1080p 30fps as you can see it is working. Also the 60fps, it is actually 60fps. I can see it's working perfectly fine. This is just huge I would say. So 1080p 60fps with the front camera is just insane. Is this really working? This is surprising. Well, 1080p 60fps videos are actually working on the front camera of the Redmi Note 10 Pro on this project in Xenon. This is huge. Yeah, just notice. This is complete 60fps. And we have the documents mode, the pro mode, the pro mode video and stuff. Everything is there. You can shoot pro mode videos with this if you want. So great camera, you'd say the Leica camera present by default. And that's just awesome. Now let me show you the settings panel here in the display settings. We have the brightness level, adaptive or auto brightness, the extra dim feature. Then we have the lock screen settings in here. We have the privacy controls, then the show device control, control from lock device, always show time info is always on display. In the additional settings, there is the this pickup you can actually enable. I'll test that. And we have the dark theme right here. You can schedule the dark theme if you want. And we have the display size and text customization. Then we have the night light, the live display. And in here we have the color calibration. You can do that. We have the smooth display, the screen saver, double tap to wake and the custom display settings, anti-flicker or the DC dimming you can actually enable from here. High brightness mode is also there. Let me just go into it. And if I do that, as you can see, it is actually turning up the display's brightness. So that's great. Let me go back. We have the essence right here. This is where you will find the customization. It does this kind of animation. Let me show you the customization quickly. In here, we have the themes. First of all, we have the custom theme and the vivid option, expression option, everything is there. Headline and body fonts are there. And we have the LG fonts, then the OnePlus and this nothing dot font is here. And there's a MeSense and stuff. A lot of fonts are here. We have the icon packs and just notice how many options are there. Plethora of options, I would say, in terms of icon packs. And we have the icon shapes as well. Again, plethora of options. And even the signal icon styles, just notice how many options are there. Now the Wi-Fi icon styles are also there. Let me go back. We have the lock screen. In here, we have the double dab to sleep, edge lighting. And then we have the media cover art, blur media, background and stuff. And we have the ripple effect, lock screen shortcuts, lock screen charging info. Now I think in the project release ROM for the K20 Pro, we'll have the fingerprint scanner customization as well. I mean, FOD icon and the animation customization. But of course, this device doesn't have that. So it doesn't have that customization here. We have the quick setting, quick pull down. You can set it to right or left. 4G icon show Wi-Fi type and the roaming indicator and stuff. Traffic indicator and the double tap to sleep on the status bar option is there. The reticker and the app color background is working. Then the like battery styles are there. Plethora of options. 
but here let me show you i have been using it this with the mi y pill it actually looks like that ios kind of battery icon just notice in here this is how it looks like pretty cool looking and the battery percentage for this i have selected to hidden and this is how it looks like with that looks beautiful in my opinion with this mi y pill let me go back we have the quick setting customization in here we have the layout changing option and just notice how many options are there for the quick setting style you can change it to default outline two tone etc options let me go back to the brightness header in here we have the default outline filled thin etc options quick setting header image you can get up to 75 header images as you can see so that is just a huge amount of number but yes it does have all of these and we have the fade level then the header image height and the opacity level customization all those things then we have the brightness slider position you can have it on show always and to the bottom we have the auto brightness icon and the data usage and the background transparency feature is there as well then we have the gestures which we get in the system settings then in the misc settings we have the enable advanced restart the long press power button toggle torch ignore window secure flags less boarding heads up in call vibration options unlock higher fps in games game space is there you can add any game that you would like and this is how it looks like we have this animation right here and that's pretty much it about the customization of this rom now in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like it looks really really beautiful and different from other roms and in here you will see the color palette just like this if you tap here you will get plethora of options just like this the wallpaper colors and even for the other colors just notice how many options are there and the dark theme you can enable i am seeing this like new design looks really really beautiful you get plethora of colors we can change the wallpaper from here clock settings i think and in here you can actually change the clock color as you can see so the clock size changes according to screen content you can have it on small or dynamic so you can make this clock look bright or dim from here so yep it actually works looks so beautiful in the lock screen right now i have to say this looks one of the like most customizable android 13 clock that i have seen and just notice on the bottom you will get this kind of lock icon and it looks really really beautiful i have to say then we have this show notification on the lock screen you can turn it off and there is some more option and here this is just the lock screen settings so yeah this wallpaper and styles it looks really really beautiful i have to say and if you switch to home screen then you will get the app grid and the option is there up to five by five and you can also enable the themed icons but this is in beta it shows now we are on to the battery settings in here this is how it looks like we get this green kind of looking battery bar looks beautiful and we have the battery manager the battery optimization per app you can do from here the battery temperature shows up now on the bottom you will see the maximum capacity or the current battery capacity and the charging cycles as well now for my device it shows as 314 cycles so my device is about more than like two and a half years old so that is why it has 300 plus charging cycle and with that let me show you the battery life that i have been getting it's about seven and a half hours it shows in the estimated numbers of aku battery and this is how it looks like we have the screen off or standby up to 25 days or plus than that and we have the combined use about three days or four days so that's how the numbers are in this particular rom the fast charging is actually working fine no need to worry about fast charging in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like let me show you the volume panel looks like this and just notice how smoothly it like does that in sound settings and yeah you can actually expand and change the output device from right here and everything the whole experience over here it's really really smooth volume panel looks so beautiful that i have to say everything on this rom it's perfectly smooth and it gives you amazing experience i have to say and let me scroll down we have the spatial audio and it is for wired headphones it shows not really sure how immersive it will be but yeah this option is there and we have this default alarm sound and we have the dial pad tones touch sound always show icon when vibrate mode and stuff part of volume control is there and the vibrate on brightness slider changes option is there you can enable it if you want to like have a haptic feedback while changing the brightness this me audio direct is also there and you can set it to youth edition and the sound quality with the headphone jack the bluetooth and stuff will be amazing and in here we have the choose preset option also the scenes you can change we have the clear speaker option as well and the haptic feedback you can actually enable or change stuff from here in the security settings and in the settings of it we have the touch fingerprint to unlock so if you don't want external unlocks you can disable that we have the enable pin privacy and stuff and the power button is slightly locks 
all these features now on the bottom let me go to the more settings here you will find the app lock and you can just lock any particular app that you are looking for okay so right now i'll show you the locking and unlocking stuff but i have the always on display turned off right now i'll just double tap on the top part and here if i just put the device on the desk and pick it up on my hand so yep as you can see the pickup gesture is working perfectly fine no problems now if i tap the few bit scanner it unlocks i'll just enable the always on display for now and double tapping on the status bar it locks the device and if i just tap the few bit scanner it unlocks let me try one more time so yep works perfectly fine no problems with the fingerprint scanner at all now let's try the face unlock and for that i have to double tap to wake and this is how you wake the screen and you have to just swipe up and as you can see it unlocks just notice how fast it unlocks with the face unlock it has that black border and yep it unlocks perfectly fine and while it's scanning the face as you can see there is the black border on the front camera and it unlocks normally it's pretty fast if you just Point the device towards your face just notice how fast it will unlock this is how fast it can unlock so yeah and this is how the app lock ui actually will look and if you tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it has unlocked the app so app lock fingerprint scanner and fingerprint everything is working perfectly fine here here in the test view for website let me show you the performance and just notice there is up to like 115 and stuff fps if you're noticing 120 so in this particular ROM, it is reaching about 120 FPS in Chrome. And this is the first time I'm seeing this because in other ROMs I have never seen, like recently, I have never seen in Chrome that it reaches 120 FPS, but here it reaches 120 FPS really, really fast because 120 Hertz, it's working perfectly fine on this particular ROM, even with the Chrome browser. So very fast 120 Hertz, it's working great on this particular ROM right now. And here, let me actually go to Twitter and here if I just start scrolling, you will see once the content loads, I just logged in guys. But here, just notice how fast or smooth it scrolls with this. So no problems whatsoever with scrolling and stuff right now. In this particular round, the performance overall is great. And this is how the recent panel actually looks like. And you can go into the split screen and stuff. Then we have the screenshot. If you go all the way to the left, there is the clear all option. So with all this, I would say the overall UI performance while really driving will be amazing. No problems that you will face while really driving at least on this ROM. And here are the n gigabyte Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build of Project Elixir ROM. So let me know down there in the comments what do you guys think about the latest build of the Project Elixir ROM, which is the build version 3.10. And I feel this is one of the best experiences that I have seen for the Redmi Note 10 Pro on a custom ROM and the Project Laser has been one of my favorite ROMs and this time it's no different. The experience overall is amazing. The only thing is that the 1080p 60p rear camera videos may not work. Other than that, it's perfectly fine experience that I'm getting here. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share this video with your friends if you feel like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.